UAS, or Unmanned Aircraft System Project, assesses the capabilities of using drones as a bridge inspection tool. Bridge inspections are usually done by way of lifts or platforms or snooper trucks as we call them under bridge inspection vehicles. When you're using a snooper truck, you're on top of the bridge in a work zone where you have more risk of being hit by traffic if they infringe on the work zone. A drone can be safer because typically we're under the bridge using that, that's where the crew will be, so it increases safety that way. A snooper truck costs around three quarters of a million dollars to build. On top of that, then you have the operator's wages fuel, maintenance. A drone typically costs around $40,000 and there's a lot less maintenance costs involved with it. Drones also provide a cost savings in that typical bridge inspections take eight days to complete and bridge inspections using drones typically take five days to complete. Thus, there's a three-day savings of time. When you compare the two between snooper and drone, we're finding that we can save up to 66% in costs per inspection. The tools on a drone that we use for bridge inspection purposes is basically gathering data from imagery. So it has high resolution cameras, also video and infrared thermal cameras. What an infrared camera can capture is deteriorations of concrete that you can't see normally with the human eye or with other normal cameras. MnDOT was the first Minnesota state agency to use drones for an official purpose. Some of the hurdles that we faced in using drones for bridge inspections included navigating the federal regulations, creating an internal MnDOT drone usage policy to guide how we will use drones, and setting up a contract with the contractor who has knowledge in drone usage. We knew that drones were going to be very useful in the work that we do. Uh, there's a lot of potential for them from data collection, uh, photography, all those kinds of things. But we wanted to do it in a way that we wouldn't jeopardize future use. So we worked with MnDOT senior leadership, we worked with offices that were interested in using drones, and developed a policy to fly safely, and then also to make sure that we were flying in a way that respects individual property rights and privacy concerns that the general public might have when it comes to government agencies using drones. Each bridge inspection that we did do using drones, we were required to notify the local governmental entities, the bridge owners, and any airports located within five miles of the bridge. While that might seem like a drawback, it was actually beneficial because the counties and local government agencies and some airports were very interested in what we were doing and the potential applications for their uses. Drones in the not too distant future are going to be the largest user of the skies. And aviation has historically been vast voluntary compliance. Everyone understanding the rules, everyone following the rules, but now you have a brand new user group that's quite large that may not understand the rules. And so there's a lot of potential for safety issues. And so we're working hard, we're working with FAA, we're working with other states to educate folks and make sure that there's a regulatory framework in place so that something catastrophic wouldn't happen. This UAS bridge inspection project was funded through the MnDOT research program. The MnDOT research program reaches out to practitioners, the principal engineers, the managers, the office directors, to find out what kind of innovations they need to solve problems or to be able to do their work better. That's really our goal with the research program, is to find ways to do things faster, cheaper, or better. We've currently used drones on six bridges in the state, and we are about in the middle of the research project phase. This research has sparked a lot of interest nationwide. I receive many phone calls and emails from other state departments of transportation. I've been asked to attend and present at different conferences. So it seems to me that drones used in bridge inspection could become a major tool nationally. Mm -hmm.